Welcome back to this series on sundry charges. In part one, we talked about why sundry charges are used and how to set them up. You may want to watch part one first if you haven't done so already. In this video, we'll discuss using sundries as credit notes. From time to time, you may need to apply a credit to an account to correct an overstated invoice, as a refund to a dissatisfied guest, or as a form of discount. To create a credit note, go to the Sundry Setup screen under Accounting in the Setup menu. Click this button to add a new credit note. Enter a description, choose a tax type, and then select from the drop-down the GL code that will record the reduction of revenue when this credit note is used. But now this is where you must consider how this credit note will be applied. By default, a credit note must be assigned to a target charge. Let's see what that looks like. This guest complained about their breakfast, so we'll give them a credit. Find the appropriate sundry charge by entering the first few letters and pressing the enter key. Now enter the amount of the refund preceded by the minus sign. Optionally, enter a comment and then choose the target charge from this list. When done, apply the credit by clicking here. Because this was an assigned credit note, the reduction of the revenue will be allocated to the GL code of the target charge, in this case, breakfast, and not the GL code of the credit note itself that we set up earlier. However, there may be times when you don't want to assign the credit to a specific charge. Back to the sundry setup. In this case, you can create a credit note that is unassigned to a charge when created. When an unassigned credit note is used, the revenue will be reduced on the GL code attached to the sundry charge. You now know how to apply a credit by using a sundry charge. Mm -hmm.